are you talking about, Yeti? Uh, well, hello, guys. I'm outside with the chickens for a few minutes. Not long. <laughs> They're following me because they think I have treats. I do not have any treats. Um, it is 32 degrees out here. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's snowing. Well, I don't know if it's just snow. It so I can hear it. It sounds kind of like ice hitting stuff. So, what are you guys doing? So it's kind of chilly out and the wind's blowing. So hopefully it doesn't bother this, uh, me talking here. It's not blowing too, too bad. Just every once in a while. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. And uh, the chickens say we're leaving. <laughs> it's really coming down now all of a sudden. Of course, I come outside. I thought I'd come out and just chat with you for a minute. I've got a couple shout outs that I want to do. Um, a couple of a new channels that I just found. One of them you guys probably already know about. The other one you may not know about. He doesn't have very many um, subscribers, but he does do some Kubota tractor videos and, and uh, stuff like that. So I thought I would shout him out and uh, help him out a little bit. Chickens. They're all hiding over here. We've lost all of our snow or all but just a little bit. You can see where we plowed. You can see there's there's some snow left, snow banks, but we lost all the snow that we had from rain that we had the other day and it was so warm. But uh, I was just coming to check out my garden. My fence is all uprooted from a storm we had a couple weeks ago. So my fence is down it on the ground here so those were all pretty much rotted poles I just cut them down from trees around here so that's I mean it's par for the course my greenhouse not done obviously um, just had too much to do this fall to even worry about it I'm hoping um, this spring we'll be able to We'll be able to get after it. Hey, trying to make a video here. Is it because you don't like the snow? I'm not a fan of it. Actually, the snow is fine. It's the cold. And it's cold making my eyes water again. I feel like every time I get on here, my eyes water. Um, so yeah, this spring I want to work on the, uh, the greenhouse and the fence and do something different. So I'm gonna be planning this winter on what I wanna do. I wanna bring the garden back even further and put in a few more beds. I'd love to have some, um, some strawberries, things like that. But I need to put in a few more little beds in order to do that, so. But, um, Let's see, the shout outs I wanna to do today. There is a shout out of a guy that does stuff, like I said, with his Kubota tractor. And he just put chains on his tires. He just made some to put on. Um, and his name, his channel name is Ironhead Biker. I believe it's all one word. Ironhead Biker, I'll have the link down in the description. So you can check it out. Um, the other one is, everybody knows they're already probably Farmstead Smith. She has a new channel, Adrian Rose, it's called. Um, she is starting another channel to help YouTubers and people that are want to be YouTubers try to figure it all out. <laughs> and we kind of need that because it can be confusing. So uh, she's got a lot of good information. And um, so if you feel like you may wanna check those two 
two channels out. Adrian is just starting her new channel and Ironhead Biker, I don't know if he's just starting his or not. Um, he's got a few subscribers. But anyway, so uh, yeah, thought I'd shout them out. Small channels. I mean, we're a small channel too, but um, you know, we've been helped out a lot and we appreciate it. And so I thought, you know, other people would appreciate being shouted out as well. So there's that. Um, I don't think we're going to get enough snow to do the grill report today. So if we do, I'll pop it in here later before I get it up uploaded. But working on some crafts for my other channel. Um, repurpose my way if anybody's interested. So Scott wrote a story after we moved here. He was going to start a blog. And he kind of wrote the story about the whole getting here um, process. Where we used to live. How we started. And, uh, you know, what we used to do when we lived on grid. To um, kind of live like we were off grid. And see if we could live that way. And if we enjoyed it. If it's really what we wanted to do. Um... And so he wrote quite a lengthy little story. Um, and I think if he went on a little bit with it, he probably could write a book. He's very uh, good about, he just writes really well. I don't know. I can't speak well at all. <laughs> Most of the time I can't think well either. Uh, but so he did that. Came out really good. We used a lot of it in our getting to know us video video. Um, one of the first few videos we did when we were so awkward <laughs> we're still I'm still awkward I don't know if he's still awkward but I am um but uh yeah so when I was awkward <laughs> let's just say but um anyway he did a really good job and so I decided to start a um to start our own website so that we could have our own blog. It's pretty interesting. It tells a little bit about our story uh, to begin with and how we happened to get here and what happened once we got here. Um, it was all quite a crazy fiasco for a little while, but um, buying a house usually is, no matter how you do it. Um, but anyway, so I put that on there uh, in different sections, hopefully. You can figure it out, and um, I don't know. I may have to go back on and tweak it a little bit as far as the order that it goes in, because I feel like I went on and looked, and it wasn't in the right order, and I'm not sure how to do that. But um, anyway, it's just something I've been messing around with um, in my spare time. And I'm not a website builder of any sort, and it was supposed to be... I used Wix.com. And it's supposed to be the easiest uh, on how to run it. <laughs> I'm really not a website builder. Uh, so I had a little bit of difficulty. There's a lot of pop-ups and movements and things that I'm just like, ah. I'm very proud of him for writing it. And like, we've all encouraged him several times to start writing because we think he does such a great job. Um, he's a good talker and... He's, uh, would be good doing a podcast too, but, uh, maybe in the future, there's a lot going on, you know, in our lives and we're all, we're busy. So maybe when he retires, anybody out there that is having troubles, is sick, is, uh, in need of prayers, we're sending them, sending them up. Um, we hope everybody is doing better and doing great and feeling ambitious for 2021 getting a garden prepared garden spot prepared um, getting their food store prepared just getting prepared for anything that could happen like this <laughs> but anyway you guys take care and we'll see you tomorrow have a good one <laughs>